A batter made from gram flour and spices are steamed in the instant pot. It's then cut into pieces and covered with a tempering of mustard and sesame seeds, chilies and curry leaves and fresh shredded coconut over the top. Welcome back to Craving Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious Khaman Dokla. And we're going to be making this in the instant pot. Khaman Dokla is made out of chana ka atta or gram flour. And it gives the Dokla a delicious flavor. Now I'm going to be making this in my instant pot today. However, you can use a regular steamer to make this delicious Khaman Dokla. Before I go any further with this recipe, to make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to add a cup of boiling water to my instant pot and I'm going to turn on the saute function to keep the water hot and ready. If you don't have an instant pot, just use a large pot and add a colander at the bottom and make sure that you have a nice heavy lid. To make the dhokla, I'm going to add one cup of gram flour into a bowl. Gram flour is also called besan or chana ka atta. Add one cup of water. I'm adding the water in a little bit at a time and I'm going to be whisking this to make sure there are no lumps. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt followed by a half teaspoon of sugar. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of semolina. Semolina is also called suji or raba. If you want to leave this gluten free, you can omit this, but the semolina does give the thokla a very nice texture. For a little tart in this thokla, I'm going to add the juice of half a lime. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of oil, a half teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of chili powder, and one teaspoon of cumin powder. To give the dhokla some nice silkiness, I'm going to add one tablespoon of yogurt. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of finely minced ginger, followed by one tablespoon of minced green chili. I'm going to give everything a really good mix. I have an eight inch cake pan here, this fits my instant pot perfectly and I've greased it with some mustard oil for flavor. And now for the magic ingredient in the batter. I'm going to be using Eno fruit salt. You can find this at your local chemist and it's going to give this batter a wonderful fluffiness. This can only be added just before you're ready to steam. So it does not lose its effervescence. I'm going to add one tablespoon and I'm going to mix this in. Immediately, you're going to see this batter get really nice and fluffy. And I'm going to get this into the prepared pan ASAP. Using the trivet, I'm going to lower this into the instant pot, put the lid on, and set the vent to sealing mode. I'm going to set the timer for 12 minutes. If not using an instant pot, you may cook this for about 15 to 17 minutes. As the steam escapes, I'm going to cover it with a kitchen towel. You don't have to do this, but I'm just protecting my camera. While this cooks, I'm going to prepare the tatka, also called the tempering. I'm going to heat up two tablespoons of regular oil and two tablespoons of mustard oil. Mustard oil gives the dhokla a wonderful flavor, but using too much of it can overpower the dish. Once hot, I'm going to add one tablespoon of black mustard seeds followed by one tablespoon of white sesame seeds. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of sliced green chilies. And let's not forget the curry leaves. I'm going to add a quarter cup of curry leaves for that fragrance. Saute this a little bit and keep it aside. The timer has now gone off and the pin has dropped. Let's see what this looks like. 
This looks amazing and has some beautiful color. Once this has cooled down, I'm going to turn it upside down. This looks great. I'm just going to cut this first. You can cut it into squares or diamonds, totally up to you. And then I'm going to pour that tadka all over the dhokla. This is going to soak at the top, but it's also going to get into all those little crevices. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of fresh shredded coconut over the top, and this is ready to serve. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Khaman Dokla. It has so much flavor. All of your friends and your family are going to love it. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share the video with your family and friends. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, as well as that you've rung the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And for fun, be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye.